Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. People say I have my head in the clouds. Today, I took it a bit too far. I'm combining business with pleasure. Once again, this is like my modus operandi. I do as much as I can to cross the two between each other. Although business and personal should remain separate. Business and pleasure. Your business should be a pleasure. I'd hope it would be. Uh, I'm being asked to come speak at an event down south here in another week, and so the coordinators wanted to get together with me to talk about what they wanted me to talk about. Now the pleasure part of that equation is that we're doing this discussion over coffee or espresso or whatever they drink. The sun will come out tomorrow again. They gave me the program. It's actually kind of neat. They did a whole magazine thing. This is where I'm going to be speaking, helping small business owners with social stuff. That's the thing. A lot of businesses out there don't even get... YouTube and Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus and I like helping them. See, look at that. I got my own page. Woohoo! <clears throat> Hopefully that won't happen when I'm speaking on stage. I'll be sure to uh, record the speech or the presentation so you guys might enjoy it and, and learn something too. This is a good way of connecting with other people who need my help. Let's call Diana and see how she's doing here. Pedestrian. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Hey. Hey, I was just calling to check in, seeing if you wanted anything. Uh, where are you going? Uh, well, actually, I'm heading home. Oh. What are you doing? Driving. Running errands? No, no errands. Just oh. driving. I mean, with a purpose, I'm not just driving for the sake of driving. It's hot here. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good. I ate a corn dog today. <laughs> Is this your accomplishment? Yeah. I can now come home. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Today's Hector's birthday, so... Oh, yes. I get to eat cake. Woohoo! Well, honey, you should save some for other people. That'd be nice. Like the birthday person? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. This is a classic minifig. Hey, Chris and Diana, here's the minifig I promised you. It's been in my old Lego box for about 17 years, and I know it's at least 25 years old. <laughs> Apparently, he has a broken thumb. This is from John Wolfman Perry from Colorado. I'm living off of leftovers now. I wanted to introduce you to something. Him. No, not the kitchen robot, that's a her. Him! Or it. It's a Wi-Fi signal extender. It happens to be an Apple Airport Express, but I finally found the right position for it the other day, and that's what I was referring to in the vlog, saying that our Wi-Fi doesn't suck. Let me show you how I figured it out. I used the free application on Android, this happens to be the Nexus 7, connected to uh, my Wi-Fi network, and was able to measure the signal strength from the original base station, and being able to monitor the signal strength at different positions in the house allowed me to find the best position for the Wi-Fi extender. So it's not just having an extender, it's putting it in the right place. They're coming in just a few more days. 
after I showed you guys my non-sport cards, at least some of them, I went looking for more information on Garbage Pail Kids to see if there was any news. Indeed, there's going to be a brand new series, a BNS, which is different from ANS, and of course different from the original series. I started collecting these when my dad brought home these old wax packs because he saw them being highlighted on CNN or something. He brought uh, home a pack for each one of us, uh, well, my brothers and I, and, uh, uh, wait, a brother... Uh, brothers and me. Uh, anyway, uh, back in the seventh grade, I started collecting these things, and I collected them pretty much all throughout life, even as an adult. So this is cool. I got to tell you, you know, I'm excited about new stuff all the time, but I'm more excited about this than I've been excited about any type of tech gadget. Because, th man, this man, garbage pill kids in just a few more days. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Tops. You have brought meaning to my boring, miserable life. Well, it's not so miserable now. I mean, not that it was miserable before, just that there's going to be a brand new series. GPK's FTW. What time is it? How long have I been in there? Wicket, why didn't you save me? It Pixie, you either. Come on, guys. It's getting dark outside. I need your help. Normally I walk in here and talk to mommy. She's not here. She's not even answering her texts. Of course I probably should be sending them more frequently than I'm doing now. Maybe she would answer them. She's busy eating cake. You know how long that can take. Come on, garlic. Mmm. And this stuff has been soaking in olive oil. I swear I'm not going to eat the whole jar. Well, at least I don't plan on eating the whole jar. I'll finish it tomorrow. Oh, oh I love garlic. Mmm, 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 mmm. What do y'all do? when it comes to fingerprint smudging on your smartphone screen. I don't care what smartphone you use. Inevitably, even if it is oleophobic, uh, that is afraid of skin oil, um, it still attracts fingerprints. I, I, I constantly have to do this. It's driving me up the wall. I don't want to put a screen protector on this one. I think the glass can stand up uh, to you know a great amount of abuse over the next year. It may get scuffed, certainly, and I, I do have a protector around the, the rest of the device. Uh, but the fingerprints are driving me nuts. Probably should stop doing this. I can't help it. It feels so good. Try it. You might like it. Ah. Now I can stick this against the wall. It's about 8 p.m., and I'm taking a break from work. Yeah, I tend to work late at night. And as luck would have it, uh, I am apparently catching the middle of a Frasier rerun. Oops, did you hear that? That was the, the garlic talking. And speaking of garlic, it's been at least an hour since I had some, Pixie. What do you think? I'll cut you in. Uh, she appears to be interested in something else. Let's see. I just spent an hour and a half talking to my dad. Talked about stuff. Not really stuff I guess most father and sons talk about. Sports was not discussed. I think that's a part of our agreement. We didn't sign anything like we will never discuss anything about football or baseball because Chris will likely look like an idiot. Dad's going to be watching this vlog and I know I need to call more frequently. I respond, when you send text messages and emails, I get back to you. Just the phone thing I'm not very good at. You know, come to think of it, if it weren't for Facebook, I wouldn't know what half of my family was doing. It's the site they use to share stuff in their lives, and then it becomes a part of our lives. Although, Diana is much better at watching what people do on Facebook than I am. I, I kind of digest a lot. <clears throat> including comments from you. Uh, someone asked what kind of wine I like to drink, and my answer to that is whatever is on sale. I am not picky. There's a lot of good wine out there, whether it's from the state of Washington or, you know, somewhere from halfway around the world. 
Uh, sorry, I was just noticing there's a helicopter flying by. Well, even if the moon isn't in focus, I hope you are. Thanks again for all the shares, the comments, and likes for our videos.